No. WFXR Sports. Ah, yes. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jermaine Farrell. Hoping your day is wonderful and blessed. Time now for the latest in sports news. Well, the Hardy's Friday Night Blitz football season is nearly two months away from beginning and with fall camps only a month away. Now, before things get going, teams are getting even more assistance for the start of the season in the form of seven on seven for skilled players. And for the linemen, they participate in special drills. Now, recently, I caught up with William Fleming and EC Glass football teams. They took part in helping each other get better before the fall. Tell about the value of the seven on seven and the lineman drills and stuff that goes on even before you guys really get going. Uh, well, it's an opportunity for our kids to compete, go against another team and maybe several other teams, depending upon where you go. But, um, you know, I like the one on one sessions. So like today, we're going to get TC glass. We'll get a lot of rotations of guys and, you know, linemen will get involved as well with some lineman work. So it's just a good opportunity, one, for the kids to compete, but two, to work on some things that we need to work on for the season. You build teams, not necessarily start fall camp. You do it obviously during times like this. How valuable is it to have like the seven on sevens and the, the lineman drills and yeah. all that going on? I think it's good. Um, you know, any extra time you can compete, you don't want to wait and start competing until you, um, you know, get to fall camp. So anytime you can start competing against another team and um, putting some good stuff on film, I think it's a good thing. And um, it's kind of just another practice. It's a practice against another good quality opponent, but um, it's a practice that um, can be put on film. It's going to mean a little bit. So um, it's always good to get those juices flowing and to test your guys early in the season. They say that iron sharpens iron. And for William Fleming head football coach Nick Lefwich and his good friend and EC Glass head football coach Jamar Lovelace, bringing the Hill City and Star City teams together to improve is a big plus for not only the teams, but for the players that are participating. 707s are important, man. Show your skill, show the coaches what you can do. Uh, it's good, good competition, good reps, everybody having fun. Uh, it's pretty good. We get the bond as a team and work together, work on the stuff that we need to do. Because um, usually 707 is usually for the skill guys. So for the linemen, it's very big. We get to uh, stay after and get some extra work with each other. The offseason has seen a lot of changes over the years where coaches and players couldn't even do offseason drills. But with the state of Virginia taking a page out of the book of other states like Florida, Texas, and California with offseason drills, it's a win-win to improve the game and the players that are participating in the Commonwealth. You know, the formula for success for high school football is kind of taking a change. Uh, like you said, it used to be no offseason at all, and then it transitioned to coaches could be involved in offseasons. Uh, now you can wear helmets and get some seven-on-seven -seven work done. Um, so it's kind of transitioned from, from um, you know, a whole lot in the near future, and it means so much to be able to put your schemes to use and to get helmets on and get used to equipment. Um, you know, we have a lot of practices over the summer, so, you know, we're not wearing, we're not wearing pads, and, you know, it's not a real practice that counts towards, you know, uh, um, your August practices, but um, we consider every day a workout day and a practice day as well. I mean, yeah, it's a year round process now, basically, uh, for most programs. And, um, you know, if guys are playing other sports, it's great. We always want guys doing other things in the winter and the spring, but if they're not, we expect them to be working out with us because, you know, we, you win and lose football games in the off season. I mean, you're about four months in the season, but then those eight months is when you're prepping and getting ready. So, really, how your season is determined is how well your off season goes. Now, both Coach Leftwich of Fleming and Coach Lovelace of Glass, they say that they also have their teams participate in team camps and other seven-on-seven -seven events, as well as those lineman camps before the fall camps get going. It's crazy to think we're just right around the corner from the Hardys Friday Night Blitz. And that's sports. Jermaine Farrell, WMXR Sports.